The entire class knows that you're a man who will find his way in life. Thank you for injecting leadership and brains into our grade while grasping the complexities of the same race culture in just four years. You're a nice, absolutely amazing speaker, and your ability to suddenly heighten the level of discussion in classes in one word exquisite. I said to all the board and in the audience, would you like to, and only if you want to, make a quick impromptu speech to the class of 14? specific word that you can, you can define it as, but you know, I think brotherhood comes as close as it can be. Um, but there are a lot of different things uh, that we do more than just a brotherhood. A brotherhood asks you to die for your brothers when the time asks for it. And I, I have no doubt that you know, we all would do it if, if asked, but we do something much, much harder and much greater, and I think we live for each other. Uh, we do that every day. I see it, I see it uh, in class, outside of class, in everyone's houses. And that's an incredible experience. Uh, you know, in March, I got rejected by my dream school and I was very, very disappointed for quite a while. But that disappointment uh, went by very quickly when I, when I realized that you know, success wasn't going to be defined by that college. Uh, perfect SAT scores, perfect GPAs. And it would, for me, it would be defined by the, by the shoulders I'd have my arms around. Uh, you know, the brothers who would always have my back regardless of who I was. Um, and, then, and then in April, um, I saw one of my best friends make, get into his dream school. Um, and I, I remember very, very clearly, I was in Singapore, it was like 2 in the morning. And, uh, and I felt as happy as, as if I had gotten in. And I've said it before and I'm going to say it again. We're 58 guys here, but we have one soul. Um, yeah. We live vicariously through each other. Um, his happiness is my happiness. And uh, we're all in this together. But we're not, we're not only going to celebrate the good times. When, when we fall, we're also there together. We're going to pick each other up. Um, you know, two years ago, one of my other best friends, Fabian, tore his ACL. And there were a lot of naysayers. There were a lot of people who said he'd have to give up the sport that he loved. But, you know, he stood by. He, he said, screw you to all those people. And he came back, and he scored. And uh, he led us to beat ASIJ, which, uh, better than anything else, that's the best feeling in the world. <laughs> He was off the field for two years, physically maybe, but on the field he was there every day. I saw Shin uh, wearing his jersey, going there, winning that number 13. I still see it very, very clearly. And that's who we are. And I guess this is the spirit of our class. I can't talk about everyone in here because there's not enough time in the world. But I mean, we saw Casper today. I mean, what an incredible video. Can we please give him a round of applause? <laughs> Nobody has but he did it for, his, for us, and this was his gift to us. Who else does this but this incredible class of 2014? I can't thank you all enough. I truly love you because you showed me what it means that family isn't just about blood, it's about heart, and that we all love each other. I wish us all far more than luck. Thank you. video that we've just seen. The amount of work you put into for this class is just amazing. <laughs> 